What's up, YouTube? Got another Trail Dogs Tuesday going on. We got George Buggy over here. We got Kurt's Buggy coming. We got Chris Riley's Buggy coming. We got everybody's Buggy over here. It's the Buggy Day. We're getting ready for a big trip down to Hatfield McCoy in a couple weeks. So getting everything, getting all the new parts on, getting all the maintenance done, getting it ready to rock and roll, checking out, make sure everything's good. So we've got a lot of videos to record today. Stay tuned. First things up, we're gonna go ahead and get the CA Tech limit straps and front end gusset kit going. Um, we're gonna go ahead and slide the jack up underneath it to get the pressure off the shocks. Go ahead and dismount the shocks and then take the bolts off the fan shroud. So we're gonna go ahead, that's step one. We're gonna go ahead and knock that out. So here we go. And uh, pretty sure the tires are supposed to be off the ground. We're gonna have to get a bigger block. Stay tuned. Two blocks. Big beast. She's off the ground. Go ahead and get the jack in out of the way so it ain't in our way all day. That's good. All right, so got it off the ground. Good to go. Thing's huge. It takes a lot of blocks. Now, next step is to go ahead and pull your hood off. George is going to go ahead and pull the hood off. Back it up a little bit here. George is going to pull the hood off. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we got to pop these fan shroud bolts off. Got to get the fan shroud bolts off. Which of them are, look like they're 10 millimeters. Is that correct? Sure. 10 millimeter it is. We could go ahead and use the impact driver. Whatever one you want to do, George. That's a little quicker. George got the bolt off. Now we're gonna roll on the second bolt off. You need a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench or wrench or whatever, and a 10 millimeter socket. I think my dog wants to go out. Pull up a little bolt. All right, so we got them two bolts out. On to the next. All right, next step. Get the right size. Make sure you gotta get the right size. Yeah, you never know. There we go, got the right size, 19 millimeter. Size 19, 15 millimeter. Yeah, 19 on the front, 18 on the back. I got a magnet. Might need a magnet to get the uh, get the bolt out, so we're gonna go get the handy dandy magnet. Oops, that was a little too big. There we go. There's the bolt, there's the 19. All right, on to the next one. I went fishing.
my ass to go. There you go. Got, got that off. All right, we got the plate off. Got them two bolts out. The sides out. Take a little finagling. I mean, it helps to get a uh, magnet to get the bolts out on the back side, or the nuts out on the back side. So now we got the shocks disconnected. On to the next step. Okay, so what we went ahead and did is we went ahead and broke the uh, bottom shock bolts loose on both sides. Pretty self-explanatory. Y'all can figure that out. All right, moving on to the next. Okay, we got the, we took the shocks off. Now we went ahead and fed the uh, front mounting bracket through. We got all the wires through except for the top radiator, I guess, overflow reservoir. And then we'll go ahead and mount these two bolts down here at the bottom, and they should be good to go. So stay tuned for the next one. All right, next step. Like I said, we got the bottom shock mounts uh, broken loose. Now we'll go ahead and got the limit straps in. So what you want to do here with the limit straps is you want to feed it through this little channel right here and then feed your bolt through. And then on the, on the driver's side, you want, the, you want the strap itself to look like that. You want the angle pointing towards the front. So that's all ready to rock and roll. Now all you gotta do now is feed the bolt through the shock and through the mount, through the housing and stuff. All right, here we go now. So what we did is we went ahead and mounted the interior bracket, got it going, put the limit straps the way they were supposed to go, got everything, everything finger tight. Now what you wanna do, is line up these bolts right through here, these bolts right through here, and these bolts right through here. And once you get done lining them up, make sure, double check, make sure everything's good to go, and we're on to the next step. We got all the everything lined up. Got the like little bushing thing, all that lemon straps ready to go. All the hardware in. There's what the hardware looks like, so you guys can get an idea of what bolt goes where. Same thing on the other side, so. There we go. We're going to go ahead and tighten everything up. We'll get back at you. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead. We got everything mounted. Everything's tight pretty much. But what these limit straps do is they keep it from, we're going to take the sway bar off. So when you take the sway bar off, you, your shock can overextend itself. What these limit straps do is they let it independently move. Like one side will, can, can go all the way down, but the other side can go all the way up as opposed to with the sway bar, the sway bar is gonna keep it from going up too much. These limit straps keep it from overstending the shocks to where you can work each front end wheel independently without a sway bar. So that's the game plan, that's what we're doing, and that's why we put them on. So, next clip. Okay guys, we got it all done. Everything's good, everything's tight. Uh, looks really good on here. And I'll even have to say, the powder coat of the CA, um, CA Tech, CA Tech um, limit strap and shock tower brace matches better than the factory powder coat on the frame. So that looks good with that. So with that said, I definitely approve of the looks of it and aesthetics and we'll see how it rides over time. But yeah, we got it on. It wasn't that bad. We put it together and then realized we did something wrong. So we redid it. But after the second time, it was all pretty good to go. Uh, here's the limit straps, they're on there pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.